Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to build a realistic elevator using no slime blocks. This one uses pistons, making it more resource friendly, so it's really cool and it was created and designed by another YouTuber called Dark Impact Gaming. I suggest you go check out the original video in the description box down below where you can support him for his awesome build. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Anyways, here is our elevator. As you guys can see, it is really large and really awesome looking. Now, this elevator can be built at any size using the same methods that you will see in this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out and see how it works. So let's go ahead and just enter at the bottom of the elevator, hit that button, and it should take us all the way to the second floor. And as you guys can see, the pistons are working right over here, as you can tell from the inside of the elevator. Here we are now at the top. Then we could go back into this area, hit that button, and go down to the first floor. Now, there is one particular glitch with this elevator, and it's that you would fall into the ground and sometimes fall at the bottom. But if you go ahead and add in some blocks back here, and then jump when you reach at the bottom, you should get back on top of the gravel so yeah I mean it's not a perfect elevator and one thing I do want to mention is that this elevator only works on version 9.1 or higher as well as possibly on MCPE I didn't really test it yet but I assume it does work considering MCPE has all of the same redstone anyways guys let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this elevator all right so let's go ahead and build this elevator now yet again I am building on a super flat world so I'll be creating it above ground Rounds, but once you have your area, you want to go ahead and grab yourselves some blocks of your choice. Build out one, two, three, four, and five. Then you want to extend this area by one, two, and three to create a five by four area. Then you want to fill this out, and then you want to grab yourselves some red wool blocks. Place down two right over here. Place down two of our blue wool over here, and then three green wool right in that location. And finally, one over there. Grab yourselves a dropper. Place it facing up, just like that. Place down two more droppers right on top and then you want to destroy the middle one and place one facing down like this now our dropper should be facing up here and then down there basically cycling the items in between each other then you want to grab yourselves a button place it down right over here grab yourselves a comparator place it coming out of the bottom dropper going into a redstone repeater then into a bit of redstone dust after you have that you want to grab yourselves your red wool place down a bit of red wool right over here with a redstone dust there then you want to grab yourselves a, a powered rail from our menu place it down right over there and then place on a block right on top of that bit of redstone dust and you want to grab yourselves another redstone comparator place it going into that block coming from that dropper and then you want to place down a another dropper right on top of this rail like this then place on another one like that destroy the one at the bottom and you want to grab yourselves a hopper from your menu so let's go ahead and grab that right over here and place it on the face of this dropper then you want to place down 16 blocks inside of that uh, dropper so let's go ahead and just grab ourselves 16 blocks place it inside the dropper and then we want to grab ourselves some more red wool place one red wool at the side of this dropper right over here one at the side of this dropper down here and then finally one up over here place down a redstone comparator right over here going into that block it should be powered and then you should place down a redstone torch over here which should be inverted now once you have that, you want to grab yourself some of our blue wool, place down one, two, three over here, and then one up like this. Then you want to go ahead and basically place down a redstone repeater over here, a bit of redstone dust there, and then a bit of redstone dust here. And then you want to destroy this block, then place down a redstone comparator right over here, and then invert that redstone comparator, and then place down a bit of redstone dust right in front of that. Now what you want to do is go into your menu yet again, grab yourselves some pistons as well as some glass blocks, and then you want to place down your pistons right in these locations, just like that, four in total, with four pieces of glass on top of all of them in total, and then we want to start building up the elder layers. Alright, so now we need to build the second part of our elevator 
elevator which is going to be the top which will allow us to cycle the blocks now the original tutorial did not do this because it really had no talking so let's just go ahead and begin so what do you want to do is grab yourselves a block of your choice then place down one two three blocks right on top of this block over here then you want to basically extend this one out to destroy these three blocks then you want to place down one two three four blocks in total and then extend this by another layer to create a two by four area once you have that you want to build up one block over here and then count one two three four five six seven eight and nine then build one block up like this so make sure there's a nine gap in between and you want to build out one two three four and then create another two by four area so this is basically going to be our first floor and this is going to be our second floor now once you have that you want to build out two blocks over here two blocks over there destroy the blocks in between then you want to place down a piston facing down here down over here a piston right next to it on either side and you want to grab yourselves some more blocks of your choice I'm going to choose orange wool for this place down a block right on top of those pistons place down blocks on the side like this and then build out one block like this as well just like that one block at the bottom one block at the bottom destroy the block at the middle place down our redstone repeaters just like this on the original tick delay then place down two bits of redstone dust and that is pretty much how it's supposed to look now once you have that you want to grab yourselves some blocks of redstone so let's just go ahead and grab that and you want to place down your blocks of redstone right on top of our glass going all the way to the top so i'll just show you guys where you have to stop just keep building all the way till you get to right here below our redstone repeater you want to do the same thing on the other side so let's just go ahead and do that that's two layers and this is going to be three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now this side did activate for a split second but don't worry it went back down so we can continue building the structure now one thing i do want to mention is that you want to bring this down one layer because this is actually where the first floor is going to be and you can destroy these blocks and also the items that we placed into this dropper which was 16 is just going to correspond to the height of the elevator so you'll just change this number if you want the pistons to move more now what you want to do to finish off the elevator is to grab yourselves some of our sticky pistons as well as some gravel let's go ahead and just grab that place down a sticky piston facing down right over here extend it down by one more to be in between the gap then destroy the one at the top place down one right next to it and then one right over here facing up it should be extended just like that then you place down two more over here and then place down one down here facing like that and then another one over here and if you guys are ever like wondering how you would reset this if you want to like make the elevator like fixed properly again you would just you know destroy the blocks in the middle and just replace it exactly like that place down a two by two by two area of gravel and this should be leveled with this floor as you guys can see so this is basically going to be our second floor and when it comes back down here it's going to be our first floor all right so i made two minor mistakes and i will go ahead and correct that right now that way you guys don't run into any problems the first one is to place down a single item into this dropper at the bottom in order to activate the elevator and you want to do this before you place down any blocks because it's going to push this down if you do this at the end so if you go ahead and mess this up and it's not like all the way at the top like this you just want to destroy everything and just reset it in the proper locations and then you should be good to go now the second mistake is a very very minor I said to bring this down one level but that's really not the case you just need to keep it at the original that we built at the beginning which is basically one two three blocks up over here now we have all of those changes now made let's go ahead and see how this elevator will work once you're done let's go ahead and just click on that button as you guys can see we will activate the elevator and it should bring it down to the level of this block and then we can step over here and then hit that button to send it all the way back up. So let's go ahead and see if this works. I really hope it works and doesn't glitch out. As you guys can tell, it will basically go all the way back to the top. And if it stops one block early, it's probably just a glitch in the elevator. But yet again, if you adjust this uh, value on the items inside this dropper, you should work out those kings. But normally, it would work 80% of the time because I did try it out on almost all of these elevators. So that's going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial what do you guys think is the piston elevator better than the slime block elevator or is the slime block elevator better than the piston
Piston. Now I do prefer the slime block because it's far superior, it looks cooler, and it's just the best. But that is just my personal opinion. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. But either way, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.